Hey guys, how's it going? You good? I'm good. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my first ever reaction video. The topic of today is Inside Misguided, Made in Manchester, which is a docu-series about the fast fashion brand Misguided, known for the usual very cheap, very Instagram friendly fashion. So the docu-series is on Channel 4, which is a British television channel, so I'm not sure if people in other countries can see it and where they can see it but that's where I saw it. It's meant to give the audience an inside look into what it's like to work at Misguided so we're basically given the boss babe tour where all these boss ladies are showing us their jobs designing, directing shoots, picking out influencers and models etc etc. I'm guessing the target audience would be fans of the brand, fans of the influencers featured, people who want to get into that sort of business in the fast fashion business whether it be as an influencer or as a designer but also it does tend to land in the hands of haters like me. Since it is a fast fashion brand I knew there would be a lot of things that I wouldn't agree with going into it depending on how they would shoot it. I knew there were some things I was just going to be extremely apprehensive about but I tried to be as objective as possible while watching this and I failed. I wrote down some interesting quotes from the show that um, I thought I would just share and maybe use them as my base for analyzing this because really if I just wanted to go off the cuff, I would go into like a 50 minute rant. Manchester, the best city in the world. I'm sure a lot of people would disagree with that. It's great, but I'm sure a lot of people would disagree with that. It might be owned by a man, but it's definitely us who are running the show. If it's being run by a man and he's getting the bigger paycheck, I think you should overthrow him. Fast fashion gets painted with one brush, which is not necessarily fair. Not fair? Tell that to the garment workers who you've been underpaying and putting at risk of COVID-19. We're quite lucky to work in a pretty cool office space. Well, yeah, of course you are, considering other people at the bottom of the food chain of your business are not so lucky. I mean, the office space did look pretty decent. Like, first of all, they have a selfie tunnel that is about every influencer's dream to be honest. So what precisely were my issues with the show? Well firstly when I went into it I thought and I heard that this this docuseries that's on channel 4 I thought it was going to be like from the perspective of a hard-hitting journalist such as myself who was going to go in there get all the answers but then instead it's sort of like a sponsored ad by Misguided where they're just showing us this glorified picture perfect version of the company and the ad is stretched to like four 47 minute long episodes which also have ads i couldn't take the ads netflix has ruined me i can no longer last for an ad longer than two minutes they just seem to want to make it as casual as cool as possible which brings me to my next point which was there was an absurd amount of cursing i'm not being a prude i'm just genuinely saying the amount of cursing even by the narrator seemed like a ploy to be relatable it sounded like a 13 year old who just learned their first curse word and they can't stop saying it it was annoying and just very unprofessional considering the environment they were showing us again i get they were trying to sort of like break down a barrier and be maybe more accessible to their audience and say these are the people who are making your stuff up, but not in that way please it just wasn't working the way self-image was portrayed for example the first episode it just seemed like the women in the show for example we have victoria who i think is the brand director or something walking us through the office and she shows us a canteen and she's like I hear people eat here sometimes but I don't know what that is I don't eat and she says it like it's this okay thing and it kind of gives you a sneak peek into what the diet culture is like in that area where people are feeling pressured to put up this image. Even a few of the women when they sit down for those little close-up interviews they go like oh do I look skinny enough in this shot by the way do I do I look skinny enough in this shot do I look skinny enough in this shot I thought because you get this perception at least I do from all these brands that body image and however you look is okay but then if you have the people behind the marketing and that still feeling a certain way about trying to appeal to these standards. I can't imagine what it's like to be in this work environment where you have all these m models coming in who are surgically enhanced, deep fry tanned, 24 hour training, just look gorgeous and you want to sort of emulate that look and because you're seeing it 
so often another issue i had is there was very little diversity in the cast or crew or board whatever you want to call it just very little i don't feel like in 2020 i need to explain why this is an issue but it is their display of the creative process as well was very was very poor you're going into a, one of the biggest businesses one of the biggest fashion businesses and they just basically had a scene where they all sat around a boardroom to discuss ideas and they all just pulled out their phones and started scrolling instagram like i do that all the time where's my paycheck hello and then they land on this influencers page and they're like oh my gosh this dress is so gorgeous and is a designer dress and they're like basically rip off the design they buy it for seven pounds and sell it for about 15 pounds and then they justify it by saying well not every girl can afford gucci we're just trying to be the go-to place for knockoffs i mean i get that everyone wants to look like their favorite influencer but i feel like i would personally appreciate a brand new design as opposed to a knockoff and if you can't pump out those brand new designs every time they maybe make clothes slower and less that's just a suggestion here folks they also walk us through the launching of an influencer line so typically these brands like pretty little thing misguided will have a line associated with an influencer so in this case they partnered with jordan lipscomb sorry i'm old to form a line and then they start showing us about how she collaborated with some designer to make up the line and then getting it manufactured and at some point they have hiccups trying to get the clothes sent in for the shoot they mentioned that the clothes are being brought in from china excuse me where china i thought this was about a major business brand in manchester and the uk british made british born british this would have been the perfect opportunity for them to show us the cool cute factories where all the very well paid garment workers show us where they make their bread how they feed their families and we get to see where the clothes are made but of course they did not do that because it's a lie it's terrible and they are underpaid okay so i've been complaining a lot but what did i like i don't know about you but it's always nice to see a group of women making money and jobs they enjoy having a bit of banter in the office you know that was that was nice in one scene one of them who is expecting a child starts sharing tips with one who already has a child you know that's kind of wholesome as a company that prides themselves on empowering women i would assume they have like daycare offers paid leave offers for them and their partners maybe because one of them also worked with their husband so but i mean who knows they don't really go in depth about that even though i actually would have appreciated it because again we really want to get on the insides but everything did seem a tad shallow so of course they didn't get into that but yeah i kind of should have known the docuseries would be a bit shit considering it's on channel 4 and no one watches channel 4 at least no one i know watches channel 4 but also for disclosure i did only watch one episode so if any of you have watched it further and say it gets good please let me know maybe i might enjoy it i don't know give me your thoughts in the comments also there are now a thousand of you on this channel that click that little red subscribe thingy that is mind-blowing thank you so much i know where you came from most of you came through the tiffany ferg channel from my little feature thingy on her channel but the fact that you all like clicked onto my channel saw some content enjoyed it left some really nice comments some of you like that is amazing to me if you're not subscribed i have no idea what you're doing you are missing out join the club and also like and share this video and i will see you next time